Hello, Namaste. My name is Rupali and welcome to my channel. It's been quite a while that I have uploaded any video, but hopefully I am back for good. A long time ago, I was in a class to learn the American accent. The first thing they teach you is to roll your R's. The moment I heard it, my mind goes and I can't control my laughter but I have mastered the art of laughing without a smile appearing on my face thanks to my college lecturers. So my mind was making all those noises and I was ROFing in my mind like crazy when the trainer gives us some examples. Lighter, she says. Now in India all our languages are pronunciation heavy so if there is a character in a word we make sure that we pronounce it. So we pronounce lighter as lighter. But because our syllabus has been designed by Britishers, we silence the R at the end. Lighter. I know ya. Tell me more ya. Yar is a Hindi word which means pal. It's a different thing we can't leave English alone. We have to have some regional word, some regional accent put into the sentence. I know da. I was simply crossing the road yanna raskala. Kaun jila be? Kaur jila be? Khoteya, come here. Let me beat the shit out of you. Patavfai the guru, naitar khaddyat puru. And patavfai is a legit English word, huh? Oxford Baba, thank you for accommodating our languages. You accepted our matra, bratra, trikon miti, champu, so, mother, the missing R. So our trainer taught us that the Brits silence their R's while the Americans roll their R's. It's a good thing that I didn't learn the English spelling of ass. A-R-S-E, ass. Which, of course, the Indians would have pronounced as R's. <laughs> because we pronounce every character in every word. So rolling our R's would have gained a completely different meaning altogether. Growing up, we were taught that ass is a creature similar to donkey, just a little shorter. But when we grew up, the meaning of the same word changed to the place where a donkey lands its kick. Makes sense. Probably. <laughs> so, the ass, ass, ass. Main tumhare paas badi ass leke aayi hon. The pronunciation of so many words is so similar and we Indians know so many languages that sometimes we suffer a short circuit. Short circuit. And then you English speaking folk want to differentiate yourself from other English speaking folk. The Britishers want to silence their R's, the Americans want to roll their R's and the Australians want to... Um, I don't know what to do with their R's, but at least they pronounce their A and U properly in Australia. But they confuse us with their mate. Where exactly is the Y in mate? And then you laugh at Indians because we call paint as paint. Why don't you just add the damn H in P H A I N T and overnight, I'll tell you, overnight the entire population of India is going to start pronouncing paint as paint just like you want and then Americans want to measure weight in pounds while the Britishers want to pay in pounds the Brits take our meal measure of distance and then decide they'll stick to their kilometers while the Indians learn the kilometer measurement the Brits go to America and say oh check it we will use the mile marker something different in the new land hey Britain F you buddy you can't touch me now Ooh, what are you gonna do Come swimming across the ocean. I'm gonna eat the G in swimming. Let me call it swimming. I'm gonna eat the two as well. Emma, eat your life. Amma. <laughs> when you're done bickering, tell us how to pronounce shit. Uh, that we know. At least there are no silent alphabets, no rolling, no elongating, no stretching. And there is definitely not a Y in shite. But we love you. How? Kabi Haveli pe?
क्रिकेट खेलने एंड प्लीज फर्गिव मी माई एक्सेंट वुड बी ऑफ ब्लेम माई टीचर शी टोल्ड अस दैट इफ वी हैव अ न्यूट्रल एक्सेंट इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर बिकॉज एवरीबडी फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इज गोन टू अंडरस्टैंड यू मोर ओवर वट्स अ लैंग्वेज इट्स वन अ बिग ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल से सर्टन वर्ड्स गवर्न बाय सर्टन ग्रामर रूल्स ओवर अ सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इज एन एट सो इफ देर इज ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश देर इज अमेरिकन इंग्लिश देन बाय शेयर रूल ऑफ नंबर्स देर इज डेफिनेटली इंडियन इंग्लिश सो चिल्लैक्स now we just need to figure out the exact form of indian english because our english is highly influenced by our regionalities let me explain pen a south indian would say give me the pen na da a maharashtrian would say give me pen a punjabi would say oi khotya give me pen and sometimes it's a literal translation from a regional language into the english language For example, आप कहा से बोल रहे हैं वो ट्रांसलेट लिटरली टू यू वेर फ्रॉम कॉलिंग सर और वेर आर यू फ्रॉम कॉलिंग सर और वेर फ्रॉम कॉलिंग सर यू मी देर वॉज दिस वन टाइम माई स्कूल टीचर मदर हैड टू मीट अनदर टीचर अर्जेंटली इन हर स्कूल शी कॉल डर अप वेर आर यू मैडम the other teacher said third b my mother said uh what third b uh i'm sorry i didn't get you could you please repeat that where exactly can i find you third b third b third b after half an hour of searching for her my mother found that teacher in front of the class third b <laughs> and the other teacher goes like I was telling you I was in front of third B third B third B you are not even understanding only and then there are people from my city Pune if you ask them is XYZ at home they look at the doorway and say I don't see their shoes around so you scratch your head and say uh I'm sorry is this person at home and the person again will tell you I don't see his spectacles either and you will be saying lady i was asking you is this person at home and what are you answering and she will tell you if you can't discern from the missing spectacles and shoes that the person is not at home then you are either uneducated or you are stupid which one are you before you answer that anybody who wastes my time over silly questions is an ass